We're excited about this next story right here. Mm -hmm. uh, we are in Mystic for today's 20 towns in 20 days, and it's not fall without apples right here in Connecticut. <laughs> that is for sure. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Caitlin Francis takes us to BF Clyde Cider Mill in today's Small Business Spotlight. Born into it and you gotta die to get out of it, my grandpa used to say. Amy Harrison is fifth generation at BF Clyde's Cider Mill. Her great great grandfather started the business back in 1881 in Mystic, and not much has changed. The mill is all original, it's the original equipment. She says her grandfather taught her father how to use the equipment, and her father then taught her brothers. Everything was built to last, and they maintain it very carefully. Because they have a tradition to uphold. Cider, of course. It's something that's that's not changed. It's remained the same over the years, basically. I mean, yeah, we've expanded a little bit. We've added another building, and, you know, we've put in wines instead of just the hard ciders, and we've expanded our season, but the basics of it have remained the same. We're, you know, we've always been family oriented. You know, we love people to. I mean, we've got people that are bringing back, they came when they were kids and are bringing back their grandkids. They make apple wine, hard cider, now cider slushies, and Harrison's mother and aunt make cider donuts. She gets here at 4 o'clock in the morning on the weekends um, with my aunt, her twin sister, to make donuts, and they don't leave until 7 o'clock at night. People come from all over to visit during their season. You can see people gathering around the old mill to watch the whole process. Harrison says they get apples trucked in from the Hudson Valley in New York, just like this. And they go through between 80 and 100 tons of apples a week. It's crazy, but I wouldn't trade it for the world. You know, I love what I do. Um, not many people can go to work and do the same thing that their great-great-grandfather did in the same way. She says it's a blessing to work with her family in the village she grew up and have people come visit year after year. The people that come here to come to see us don't just come here to see us like you said they come I mean we get people from New York New Jersey you know Massachusetts and um, they don't come I mean they come to come here but then when they're here they go downtown and they have lunch or they have dinner or they stay at the hotel and go to the casino or they check the village out go to the aquarium the seaport you know so we like to be involved in it all. <laughs> BF Clyde's cider mill is open now through early December and then we sleep. <laughs> In Mystic, I'm Caitlin Francis, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.